What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're back in the shop working on the Kodiak. We're gonna be installing an external oil cooler, so let's get started. All right guys, we got just about everything we need to get this oil cooler system installed. We just don't have the lines yet, but I got this bracket fabricated up. We're gonna go ahead and get this welded in. That's a 15 row cooler. This is a MoCal sandwich adapter on the oil filter. It has a 190 degree thermostat so that it won't open the cooler until uh, the oil hits 190 degrees. We do have an oil temp sensor we're gonna pour in right there. And then I always use Schaefer's full synthetic diesel oil. And then we got a new AC Delco filter. Let's go get this welded in. All right guys, so we got our oil cooler welded in. It looks like it's gonna get some good airflow coming up under the bumper. So that should be a good spot for it. We went to our local hydraulic line store and they actually made us these lines um, it's not what you typically see for an oil cooler these are actually obviously hydraulic fittings but um, the line is rated for up to 450 degrees and obviously these are rated for way more psi than what the duramax is going to put out so it should be overkill which i'm always for so let's go ahead and get all this hooked up all right guys you can see we got the cooler and the lines in as you can see over there, we got the sandwich in, our oil temp sensor plugged in, and a new factory filter. So let's go ahead and fill this up with fluid. Another thing, we got a PPE drain plug. It's got a magnet on it to collect any metal. Um, the copper washer on the old one was leaking a little bit, so we got that swapped out as well. I got four gallons of Schaefer's here. You guys can use whatever oil you prefer. We're gonna get 14 quarts put in, which is what the Kodiak calls for. Get the truck warmed up so that that thermostat on the sandwich adapter will open up and we'll check our levels and get it topped off. Okay, we're in here in the truck. This is the adapter to hook up the oil temp sensor. All we gotta do is just screw it in right there and it'll be live on our CTS monitor. All right guys, we're on the highway. We got the Kodiak up to operating temps. The only comparison we can really make is engine coolant temperatures because we didn't have the oil temp sensor hooked up in our previous video. And it looks like we're running about 10 to 15 degrees cooler coolant temps uh, after installing the oil cooler. So it's running about 190, which is perfect going about 65 miles per hour on the highway so we'll have some more data after our trip up to southern utah to coral pink sand dunes and sand hollow in a couple weeks thanks so much for following along and subscribing we really appreciate it we'll see you on the next video later guys